Hey guys, it's Layla from Ignite and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to frame film analysis within your body paragraphs. So the reason I wanted to craft today's video is because I've noticed students have a little bit of difficulty in finding that line in discussing film analysis between starting to retell plot to establish what scene they're actually analyzing and then actually remembering to include the analysis, the actual techniques, the aspects of form to facilitate your discussion of the text. And I think a lot of that difficulty arises from the fact that when you're looking at a written text, you're moving through, you know, the quote technique effect sequences. In quote, composer's use of this technique produces, and then you do your analysis and you link back to the question. But when we're looking at a scene, it's not as easy as quoting. And it's quite difficult to move through fluidly establishing the scene that you're discussing. But remember to also do that analysis. So I'm going to show you my breakdown of what I think you should include sentence by sentence in body paragraphs to really constrain yourself and ensure that you're not going overboard in terms of establishing and describing the scenes, but you do it quite succinctly and then you move into your analysis. Now, if you're studying Billy Elliot for the common module, I actually use that text to give you exemplar analysis towards the end of the video. So stay tuned and it will be explicitly relevant to you. In fact, you could even use this analysis if you like in your body paragraphs. But even if you're not studying Billy Elliot, I'd still watch the video through to the end because it gives you an example of whatever film you are studying, how you actually frame it and then you move through your analysis. Okay, so when we get to your body paragraph, we know that the first sentence here, and you're gonna limit this to one sentence, is the topic sentence. So that's where you're gonna clearly frame your argument in response to the question. Then as you move into your analysis, in your second sentence, you can frame what scene you're actually referring to, but you wanna keep that limited to one sentence. So note, the topic sentence is gonna state, you know, within this particular text, the struggle for an individual to reconcile their want to define their identity is represented. Just for argument's sake, a broad kind of topic sentence there. Then whatever idea you frame in that thesis or in that topic sentence rather, now needs to be backed up with the evidence you select. You need to justify how the evidence you're selecting is actually backing up what you said in that, in that topic sentence. So you can start that sentence with either of the following, such as revealed in, and then you frame the scene. Or Dolgy represents this when, or whatever the composer is, or this is evident where. So I think that's actually quite useful because I noticed with a lot of students, they know what they want to say, they know what scene, they know what kind of techniques are in there, but you get stumped on how to actually start off that sentence. So remember, okay, the topic sentence is going to frame what the thematic focus, if you will, is for that paragraph in relation to the question. And after you've framed that theme, now you're thinking, okay, I just need to quickly pop in the scene to which I refer in my analysis to frame that this particular bit of evidence actually backs up what I've said in the topic sentence there. So starting the sentence with either of those or a variation can be quite helpful for you. And then you need to move into the actual analysis, right? So this is where you can say in this scene or sequence, composer utilizes and then you insert the aspect of form or the analysis. Or alternatively, within the shot, and then you can frame what actual bit of analysis is being used there, okay? So remember that first sentence, clearly state the point for that paragraph, then restrict your identification of the scene to one sentence, because what you don't want is plot telling or establishing the scene to bleed into further sentences, because then you're just gonna run out of time and you won't actually get to your analysis. So you say such is revealed in, and then you state the scene, and then you state within this scene, the use of, and then you start to go into your analysis. And of course, as the analysis unfolds, you need to make sure that you're linking back to what the question was actually asking of you. Okay, now within the paragraph, that process of picking out the evidence and how you analyze, I would recommend going for two scenes per paragraph. I think when you're doing an essay that's based on like a poem or another kind of written text, Three quotes is ideal, but because it takes a little bit longer to establish the scene to which you're referring, I think two scenes per paragraph is probably okay. I think one scene is maybe cutting it too fine, depends on how in depth your analysis is on that particular scene. But I'd say two to be safe. So that's what you're looking at in terms of the paragraph 
construction. So what I've done here is I have given you a sample body paragraph using the film of Billy Elliot to answer this particular question. If you have gotten a question similar to this, quite a few of my students have gotten this question for their first assessment task. We have another video on how to write a thesis to this question. So if you watch that video in tandem with this one, you can kind of start to piece together an essay in response to this question. And it's actually quite a good question to use if you're drafting your exemplar essay for human experience, right? You kind of brought a scaffold that you can use to adapt to different question types. Nonetheless, let's have a look. So the question reads, Challenges are inherent to the human experience. To what extent does this statement reflect your understanding of, in this case, a Billy Elliot? And now we're looking at one particular paragraph and the theme for this paragraph to answer this question was that of struggle or of challenge. So we're asking ourselves, okay, well, what challenges are actually encountered within this text? Okay, so topic sentence. Joldry represents Billy's struggle to reconcile his identity as a dancer against his father's reluctance to accept his son's inability to fulfill masculinized expectations of their mid-1980s context. So we've provided here a specific focus that answers the first part of that question, that being the challenge part. Okay, so that's the topic sentence, part one of the table I showed you, done. Second sentence, this is where we frame the actual evidence we're using. This is encapsulated in Billy's father's initial reaction to his participation in dance class. So one sentence, limiting it to that one sentence framing, what part of the film am I actually going to use here? And then we've moved into the analysis. A close range shot focalizes the father's angered expression as he looks on behind the gate. So this is the scene where he confronts Billy in dance class unexpectedly and the dad's sort of standing behind the gate looking onto the class. The bars of the gate are reminiscent of a prison, symbolically alluding to the father's struggle to accept Billy's identity as a dancer. So we've only got two key techniques there, the close range shot and how within that shot, him being behind the bars, it shows that he's locked within this preconceived view of what boys or lads, as he says, must do and how that him being locked within there speaks to him and his struggle to challenge those preconceived views or to accept his son's love for dance. Okay, so you can see how that table I've shown you is actually played out here in a full body paragraph. And I think it's quite useful because it's one thing for me to say, okay, sentence by sentence, this is what you ought to do, but this is how it actually plays out within an example. All right, guys, I hope you found that video useful. If you do like this content, subscribe to our channel and we've got lots of other videos coming your way. But for now, please do leave any questions in the comments. If you have some, click the bell if you'd like notifications for further videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next clip. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to our channel and we'll have more videos coming your way. That's right guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you check out our online resource database. We've had a team of state rank achievers and heads of English put these together for you, covering everything from essay structures and examples all the way through to craft of writing and comprehension skills. So check them out at ignitehse.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.